In drug discovery, traditional animal models like mouse and rat are often used to test the properties of drugs. But animal models of human disease states are imprecise, empirical, ephemeral, and prone to require considerable analysis and debate on their outcomes. In other words, animal models aren't always very good. What if there was a way we could test drugs on human biological material? My name is Dion Kogler, I'm a master's student at the University of Oslo, and I do just that using organoids, mini-organs grown in the lab. By coupling induced pluripotent stem cell-derived liver organoids with HPLC-MS, we're able to show that our liver organoids can metabolize heroin just as a real human liver does, and maybe also replace some animal experiments. I made this HPLC right. tube movie to show that we're now making an online organoid LCMS system. Our system consists of three parts. The organ part, where medium continuously flows through a tube containing the organoids. The microfluidics part, where fractions of the medium are collected and sent to analysis, sort of resembling traditional 2D LC plumbing. And finally, the HPLC part, where the resulting fraction is sent into a 5 centimeter packed column yeah. with 3.5 micrometer chromosome particles with C4 stationary phase. With the C4 column, we get nice chromatography without interference from proteins like albumin, which are present in the medium. This is a first organoid HPLC system. I think it would be very useful in drug discovery for diseases like cancer and diabetes, which are model diseases at the Hybrid Technology Hub at the university where I do my work. So the World Economic Forum has named Organ on Chip one of the top 10 technologies to change human lives. And I strongly believe that HPLC will be a key tool in making that happen. I think we're, uh, we're very fortunate to, uh, to be allowed to work with this like right at the beginning. So we're, we're in the process of, of actually shaping which way the technology is gonna go. We're basically creating the path.